Booker and Betsy DeVoe work together on school choice. He just voted against her. Washington A. As mayor of Newark, Cory Booker joined Betsy DeVoe on the board of Alliance for School Choice, which advocated using taxpayer dollars for charter, private and religious schools. He's known her for years. But when DeVoe was nominated to be U.S. Secretary of Education by President Donald Trump, Booker, DNJ, voted no. DeVoe was confirmed Tuesday, 5150, when Vice President Mike Pence cast the deciding vote in favor of her nomination after two Senate Republicans joined Booker, U.S. Senator Robert Menendez, DNJ, and every other Senate Democrat in opposing her. I found many of her answers inadequate, unsatisfactory or just plain violative of what I believe a leader in that position should do, said Booker, who has taken a more visible role in opposing Trump and broke with tradition in testifying against the nomination of fellow U.S. Senator Jeff Sessions, Republican Alabama, to be Attorney General. Despite their past history of working together, DeVoe refused to meet with him, Booker said. He said her hearing was rushed though so she couldn't properly be questioned, and was troubled by the answer she did give such as refusing to rule out allowing guns in schools to protect from potential grizzlies, and saying the Federal Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, which is supposed to provide an appropriate education to students with disabilities, should be enforced by states. There are numerous things in her testimony that I found problematic and in totality made it not even a question for me whether I was going to support her, he said. Booker was a champion of the school choice movement as mayor of Newark, looking for alternatives to the traditional public school system where some inner-city students were struggling. Such efforts were opposed by teachers' unions, who decried the exodus of taxpayer dollars from public schools. While some of that money would go to public charter schools, which could operate under different rules than traditional public schools, other taxpayer funds would be spent on tuition at religious and private schools and for-profit charters. Booker's advocacy of school choice put him in conflict with the Newark Teachers Union, which opposed his 2010 re-election as mayor. The union backed one of his opponents, former county prosecutor Clifford Minor. Union President John Abayagon said he was kind of surprised that Booker voted against DeVoe. He's a strong advocate for school choice, Abayagon said. We never saw him much as a supporter of traditional public schools and don't see him as one now. One-time allies said they were disappointed in Booker's vote against DeVoe. He's turned into a partisan political player, said Peter Denton, founder and a trustee of the Clark-based school choice advocacy group, Excellent Education for Everyone, which Booker worked with. It's extraordinarily disappointing. Booker was the Orthodox Union's dinner speaker in Washington in September, where the senator talked about school choice. That's a big issue in the Orthodox Jewish community, said Nathan Diamond the group's executive director for public policy. He had a record as mayor of Newark supporting school choice initiatives, Diamond said. Most of our children attend non-public schools and the number one kitchen table issue is being able to afford those schools. We reached out to Senator Booker's office, many of our constituents reached out to Senator Booker's office hoping he would support DeVoe but he said he won't. Booker had other concerns in deciding how to vote, said Krista Jenkins a professor of political science at Fairleigh Dickinson University and director of its Public Mind polls. There has been some backlash against Democratic senators who have not opposed nominees in the Trump administration, Jenkins said. I would not understand this as a wholesale rejection of his embrace of vouchers. This is a broad rejection of the Trump administration and the type of people he's trying to put together in government. As someone mentioned as a potential 2020 Democratic presidential nominee, Booker can't afford to alienate the powerful teachers' unions, said Rogan Kirsch, a professor of political science and provost at Wake Forest University. The National Education Association, whose affiliates include the New Jersey Education Association, and the American Federation of Teachers, the parent of the Newark Teachers' Union, gave more than $4.5 million between them to the Super Political Action Committee backing Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential run according to the Center for Responsive Politics, a Washington-based research group. A combination of unified Democratic opposition to DeVoe and vehement disapproval by national teachers' unions along a central to Democratic presidential contender's path to the nomination a make a yes vote by Senator Booker effectively impossible, Kirsch said. Booker said he wasn't thinking about the next election. Politics be damned, he said.
It's about doing the right thing. Thing.